tractor tires, hard to take off, easy to put on. Hello and welcome to another episode of Green Pastures Farms, a small farm with big dreams. Today we're going to be trading in that uh, tractor and we're going to be getting the thing I've been hitting at all week. If y'all have watched any of the previous videos, uh, y'all get to see that. And we're also going to do a little tire changing on uh, the grain elevator. And that, let's get on to the video. Well guys, we just, uh, we just put the tractor tires back on the 40, the ones I took off a couple days ago and had them, take, and had them uh, replaced in the last video. So uh, we got those in today and we have, uh, we got them in uh, Thursday, put them on and it is currently 8.30, 8.15 or so. I just got off work. I decided to put them on for no reason. Just give me something to do. Give me a video idea. So, we got them put on. I'm having to lug this thing, this fossil, back. <sighs> Alright, we're back down here. Just grabbing the rest of my tools. Nut driver, or lug nut. I don't freaking know what to call this darn thing. That's just kind of sitting on these. You can see, she looks rather nice, brand new tires on it. Um, this is what I'm trading in. Uh, Y'all see what I'm getting and when I put this video out. Uh, next couple seconds, minutes, depending on how long uh, it takes me. Uh, yeah, we're saying goodbye to the 40. Uh, she's a good tractor. Got. Many memories from her, but it's time to say goodbye. Guy wants it back, wants it back in his family. And I can't say no to a crying old, to a uh, saddened old man with nostalgia. Because one day I will be a saddened old man with nostalgia. Well, also, um, don't know if I'm going to go through with it, but I'm considering getting a 9700 Ford cab tractor. Why? It'd be a fun thing to have. I want to get it re restored anyway. It needs 20 different things. It's $2,500. Not terrible. I've seen ones in worse shape going for seven. But then again, they probably ran. This one runs. It just uh, doesn't run as good. The hole. A lot of holes around here. Oh, it should turn the light on. There we are. Anyway. One more thing to grab. And that'll be it for tonight. Come back in the morning, see what I'm getting. All right, guys, so right now we're, we're waiting for the guy to come pick up the 40. So I'm going to check the tire size on the elevator and we're going to change the tire. Well that's one gone and I think it was this one that was also bad. Yeah, so we're replacing two tires today actually. Alright, where is the size on these bitches? Where is the size on this? Uh, probably at the bottom. Uh, Yes, those custom silver, silver wall tires. All right, I'm gonna say they're fifteens. Okay. Thousand bushel grain bin. Anyone interested? It's a piece of work, but you know, it's something. It's for sale. I'll take any price. I'll take any price above nine hundred dollars. All right, so right now. I gotta go get those tires out of our tire building. 
Yes, we have one. Uh, it's just like every, everyone else. You gotta have a spare parts building. I used to have a scrap metal pile, but I'm selling all that crap. This U is not popping up. That's Johnson grass out there, but hopefully we'll have something come up out there. Well, I could go on my on my uh, my hair. Okay. Oh. Uh, This. R15. Perfect. No. R15. Uh, another. Also, most likely, R15s. R14, okay. Everything around here is me. There's a 15. These are old uh, truck tires. They were on my Ranger at one point, I think. I think these are what they came off of. I used to have a Ranger. Blew the engine. Like everything on this plant, on this farm here, everything needs a battery or tires. And if not that, Something's leaking, but I am just too stubborn to fix it. I like that 4600 over there. She's got a fuel leak right there. Coming out of that hole right here. And I just don't feel like fixing it. Be a good summer project though, or winter project. We got until 10.30 before he shows up. Hopefully he'll show up earlier than that. He is traveling all the way from Tennessee, so it's a five hour drive. You gotta give the man credit, he's dedicated. Uh, he really wants this tractor. Then again, if I saw a nice Ford 7700 or any Ford for that matter, that was nice 1970s blue. I'd drive for, I've drive five hours for it. Fun fact, they used to store pine needles in this barn. When we got the place. We store hay in it for a little bit. Then we built our hay barn. Lovely little place, isn't it? All right, we're gonna fire this piece up and bring the elevator over here. the best job down there. I think it'll pull. After some minor difficulties, we got her moving. Well, that's one less pain of the job, getting it off the rim. This one, not so lucky. All right, the gloves come off. You get to see me battle with my jacket. My hammer thing went. All right. Going.
going to I just saw a text from the guy. So hopefully we'll be seeing him and the truck next few minutes. Or next hour or two. Just like I wanted it to. Oh. All right. Today, y'all are also going to get a little tire changing tutorial. It's a lot harder than you think. So what we have here, old fashioned tire mount. Uh, we got this little star here in the middle, pulls it down. This little nub goes through the lug holes. This little hook holds this into place. Or it should. Push it all the way down. I think I'm out of notches. So I think I am anyway. Yeah, I'm out of notches. So that's just as. Just about as much. Okay, so there we go. It's. In place. This one came off a lot easier than most. Lucky. Lucky us. So, so um, I'm gonna put y'all down and take off the other side. Y'all, right, y'all get the gist. So that came off pretty easily. I do not know if the gods are smiling down on us tonight, but. Or today. Pardon me. So, gotta put that on there. And actually, let me look and see if I had the right size. Radio. R15, perfect. All right, so we put the lucky, and then we reach the snag. Let me get my lubricants. <sighs> Once again, this is a frustrating process. I will be back with right. I got it on, thankfully. Uh, we can't get a seal on it. That's one of those things. I can get them on. I just can't seem to put air in them. So, um, my dad's coming. And he's going to help us, get, help us get with that. I'm not going to take the other one off. And our man and our new toy is coming. Alright, so we're going to back him out the grain bin while we wait for my dad and the and the guy coming to get the tractor. So just gonna vacuum this out, get all the holes out. What's left? All the rat all the rat food. This is a uh, I think th two thousand bushel. It's not too big. Pardon me. It's not too big. I was wanting to put up this, this two, this uh, thousand bushel one, but I showed it to the guys at Sukup, and they were, they said it was a bit out of their realm, and the design I wanted to do was just not, I, it was getting a bit too costly, especially for what this thing is worth. So, uh. I'm either going to scrap it or sell it. There was a guy, I was told about a guy that wanted another grain bin. But I don't know if he wants something that small. So, anyone wanting a thousand bushel grain bin? It's a, uh, it's a cement 
it's a floor mount, so it does not have a it does not have a bottom like this one with a fan and unload auger and a floor like this. Instead, it just goes on the pad like that. It just sits flat on the pad, concrete. What I was wanting to do was I was going to give it another ring with a cinder block or well, a, uh, lay out a pad like this, but just dig a trench for an unload auger. But it's just not, it turned out to be kind of uh, unfeasible and the people I wanted to lay concrete never got back to me on anything. So I decided to screw it. We ain't doing it. All right, we're gonna lay this down and take the shop back out to the bin. Get it cleaned out and I don't know why we have half the crap up here that uh, we do. Yes, I got a bunch of tire changing parts. Oh uh, yeah, and I had to vacuum out the inside of that tire because there was rat crap and pieces of hay and some leaves in there. So. Taking this over here. I'll run the drop cord out here. I'll also need to run the fan just to see if it works. I know the unload auger does. I had a guy last year bring his grain back and do it. These same people that have been hauling my beans for the past two years. Now I feel like I can be self-sufficient. I hope I can be self-sufficient anyway. So we're gonna see how this year goes with just me doing it. And if I break something again, I know people to call. I can either get on the wait list or get it done. I think there's a knot, there's a knot. strategy for undoing drop cords is just pull on it until it comes loose or it just falls out of the socket all right tied a knot in that we're gonna we got the knot out at least a good portion of it out things kind of just a little tangled up down here and i think we could manage There it is. All right. Now. I had to tie a knot in that and the cord that hooks up to the vacuum. I'm hauling something, I can't figure out what it is. Oh well. Anyway. I'm gonna vacuum this joint.
my supervisor. Hey, bud. Well, it's here. A moment of truth. Isn't she pretty? Hello, John. Howdy. Absolutely can. Yeah. There she is. Trading this for a cracker. Goodbye. He was a pretty one, but I made a good trade. Bye bye, 40. Alright, guys, that is it for today's video. Uh, please like, subscribe, tick the bell, and uh, follow us on Instagram. Link will be in the bio. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.